The Guyana Center for Civic Engagement was launched last Saturday at the Reliance Veda Center in East Kanji. Details in this report. On Saturday, May 13, 2023, the Guyana Center for Civic Engagement, GYCCE, was launched at the Reliance Veda Center, Reliance Settlement, East Kanji, Burbese. The Guyana Center for Civic Engagement is a non-governmental, non-profit apolitical organization. It will serve as a hub to host youth-led civic engagement programs in the area of leadership, advocacy, voting education, volunteering, and activism by empowering youths in Guyana with the necessary skills needed for individual and community growth under the broad thematic areas of transparency, accountability, and conflict resolution. The organization was launched as part of its founder Deodat Prasad's Community Action Plan Initiative. Mr. Prasad participated in a community solutions program during August 1, 2022 to December 2, 2022, and upon his return, he is expected to implement a project. During the simple launching ceremony, Mr. Prasad related these details. This program requires implementation of a community action plan upon my return, a project that has a completion date of June 2023. I have this chosen to share my knowledge and experience gained through this leadership program titled Hashtag Youth Engage 592. Under this program, the Guyanese Center for Civic Engagement is formed. We registered in April 2023 and today we are officially launching. This center here will serve as a hub to host youth-led activities in areas of advocacy, voting education, volunteering, and activism by empowering youths in Guyana with leadership skills needed for individual and community growth under the broad thematic area of trans transparency and accountability and conflict resolution. Additionally, he shared insight about the first project that will be implemented. Youth Engage seeks to train high school students across Guyana and as a pilot project, students from East Barbie schools will be trained over a 10 hour period in the areas of civic engagement, voting education, ethical leadership, conflict resolution, volunteerism, project planning. Participants upon the completion of this is required to form in groups and execute a community project or a school project. A certificate will be issued thereafter. In the first phase, 120 students will be trained in May 2023, and six projects will be completed by June 2023. The Region 6 Chairman Mr. David Armagan lauded the initiative and stressed on the importance of fostering a spirit of volunteerism and patriotism. Mr. Prasad must be congratulated for initiating this process, having gone through some amount of training. The establishment of this centre here today is intended precisely to fill that gap that the school system is not addressing. Because if you ask a high school student today what volunteer volunteerism is all about, they will be lost. Because everybody in this country believes that if you do something, you must be paid for it. Also present and delivering the feature address, was Ms. Kelly McCree, Public Relations Officer, attached to the U.S. Embassy, Guyana. The U.S. Embassy endorses the plan of the Guyana Center for Civic Engagement to build young people's understanding of their rights and their responsibilities, their leadership skills, and most importantly, to encourage their participation in the civic and political processes and support opportunities for them to participate in political and civic activities. The U.S. government remains committed to supporting Guyana's democratic values and processes at the national, regional, and local levels. Projects like these are poised to strengthen local democratic institutions, and do that we look forward to seeing how the work of the Guyana Center for Civic Engagement, as well as other members of the board, we look forward to seeing how your work will impact the region and Guyana. The mayor of New Amsterdam, Ms. Winifred Haywood, was also present and offered congratulatory remarks. To those who will be a part of this history-making 
active, and I'm sorry that I'm so old, I'm sorry, but I am no longer to be a part of all of this. I want to thank you for bringing this back from where you were to here in Guyana, because we recognize that many people will go to different programs and so on. And look how fast it is here trying to pass over this wealth of knowledge to you. I want to thank you for your heart that God would have given you. And I want to congratulate those who would be a part. And I just want you to do exactly what Pandit would have done. Do it with your whole heart. The launching ceremony was culminated with a tree planting exercise the organization's first civic engagement activity. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.